back but not. Motion out now by Costello wide right. Looking to pass again. Plenty of times. Got a man open. It's Costello. He's got to catch a midfield to the 45-40 down the sideline. Pushed out of bounds. Let's see where they mark him out. It will be first down. They'll be setting up shop. It looks like at the Eagles 35-yard line first down. Smith's more in the tailback position behind the quarterback in the eye. Now they're going to run the option. Quarterback's going to keep it. He's got it. Bernard is in. A touchdown from one yard out. Looked like they were running the option, and Bernard saw daylight. Third and 14 at the 28 for the Eagles. Receiver split left and right. Motion by the receiver left to right now. Running back, tailback in the backfield play action to him. Looking to pass. Heavy pressure's on now, and he'll go down. Great job there. Closing speed by Pierre to get to him. Beautiful job there by Joseph Pierre. Lone left receiver, Smith to the right of the quarterback, Bernard in the backfield shotgun formation here. Looking to pass again, looking for Bowen again. He's going to throw that back shoulder. Got him, touchdown, perfectly thrown. And that's a great catch by Bowen. Put him in the end zone for the touchdown from 21 yards out to make it 13. Back is Robinson. Motion by the H-back going left now. Play action, looking to pass again. Going to throw down, picked off. That time it's coming back this way, 20 yard line, 25. Back the other way, I think that's Salvi with the interception and return to the 30. And James Ryan Salvi right there was playing center field, read the quarterback's eyes, and a great job of Hampton Sydney's defense. Crosses to the left of the quarterback. Costello will go wide right now. Down the middle, got bowling. He's got to get it. Now he's got to take off at the 30, 25. Had to wait for that ball to get to him. It's going to be a long catch and run for a first down at about the 22, but bowling had a seam right down. Should be straight before the snap. Back to the 30-yard attempt, Palmer Smith. This one's going to be through the uprights and good to make a 17-0 with six seconds left. So they do add three. Go up 17-0. We'll take a quick timeout, come back for the kickoff after. Right, one man left. Tight ends right in the formation. Now Calavocus shifts over a little bit in the slot. Play action after faking to Smith. Now they turn. They find a receiver underneath. That's Calavocus. He's got the first down and then some. He'll get up to about the 49-yard line before he's tackled. It was a nice job of yards after contact there. Catch there by the scene for the Tigers. Smith, let's see if Smith gets it again. This time he's lined up left. See if he follows Newman. Right now he's the left H-back. He will go left. He'll put his helmet down, gets in the end zone easily, driving the legs. Up here on this play. Looks like he's inching his way towards coming on a hard rush. Trips left, one man right in the formation. Running back to the left of the quarterback. Looked like movement it by was. the right tackle. P almost picked by Weinberg. Weinberg. He did. He dropped back in coverage. Certainly one of the offensive linemen picked up. One man left. Trips right. Running back to the right. He's probably staying in the pass block here. He is trying to stretch out. Rolling pocket. Heavy pressure coming. Golson got him from behind. That's going to be a sack there. Just an outstanding effort Absolutely. by Absolutely. He had to run across, clear across. As you mentioned, some seniors out there getting it done. They will have to snap it one more time. They're up there ready to snap it. Third down and long, and they'll take that knee down again with Weinberg getting it, and that will do it. 24-14, your Tigers will take a big victory here on senior day over the Bridgewater Eagles. Tigers will run their record of 5-4, and 4-1 four, four and one in the ODAC. Bridgewater goes to three and six and still winless in the ODAC. 0 oh and five. Bridgewater will finish up with Guilford. Somebody's got to win that and get an ODAC win. Next week, next week we know we're traveling to Ashland for the game with Randolph making.